Okay. All right. Well, um, welcome to the Voter Information Committee. We're happy to be back together after uh, illnesses can't uh, illnesses and scheduling challenges canceled our December, January, and February meetings, and yep. just points up the need for more committee members. So if you're out there and want to join us, please do. Um, we don't have anyone here for public comment, so I think I'll just call the meeting to order. And uh, all the members are present. So our first uh, order of business will be to vote to approve the minutes from the November 15th, uh, 2023 Voter Information Committee meeting. And um, Joy was nice enough to circulate those ahead of time. Um, I did not have any changes to the meeting minutes. Um, so I think maybe you should move to approve, make a motion, and then I make a motion to approve. Okay, a second. Great, and uh, I agree since there's only three of us. I guess we don't have to call for <laughs> objections <laughs> or abstentions. So it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, so I guess we'll just jump right into then our um, talk about what we're going to do for programming for the remainder of fiscal year twenty four. Um, we do have the special election on April 9th, uh, and voters have to register by March 29th to vote for that. Uh, my understanding is that um, it's an uncontested race. That is my understanding as well. Yes. Um, and where it's uncontested, I don't think we um, have to worry or have to offer any sort of voter forum or candidates forum. Um, so that's good because it would be short time so yep. if we did. But that does lead into um, our town election, which is May 21st. And uh, nomination papers have to be submitted by April 2nd. So um, we should maybe talk about even having a special meeting once we know what we have in terms of contested races so we can because uh, I don't want to wait until the fourth or third. This is the fourth. We meet the fourth Wednesday of the month. So if we wait till the fourth Wednesday of April, that's not going to be enough time to plan. Right. Um, connect with the voter, the League of Women Voters, and such. Yes, I think we could discuss that and then connect with them offline. Out, yeah, outside of okay. the meeting. Um, that's how it's been done typically in the past. Okay. Um, so as long as we come to the consensus that we will move forward with that and work with them once again, then one of us can just contact them. So Amy, about I know logistics. you haven't had a, this will be your first election cycle. So um, last year we weren't, we were, didn't have enough members, so we didn't have a voter information committee, but the League of Women Voters came in and um, ran a forum for the select board, I think was the only contested seat. And that's what it was a candidate's forum for the select board. But what they've done every year is they will come in and um, it's the League of Women Voters have provide the moderator and they ask questions. The, um, we collect questions from the audience, I guess, mm -hmm. who come to the candidates forum. We assist in grouping the questions because sometimes they're the same, but the moderator presents them. And then um, each candidate is um, allowed very specific amounts of time to respond. Um, and we, in my time, I think the only contested seats have been for select board. Um, last year, we didn't offer an opportunity for uncontested candidates to speak, but the my first year on the committee when we were a committee, <laughs> um, we gave candidates an who were uncontested an opportunity to come in and just tell the voters why mm -hmm. um, they were running. So I think okay. that's when we talk about having contacting the League of Women Voters and um, having a candidate um, forum. That's what we envision. And they do this for towns all over the Cape. So they're real pros at it and they, they have time or usually it's not just one person who's the moderator usually there's three or four volunteers and mm -hmm. one person will be the timer and they even have the little paddles that you know mm -hmm. say 30, 30 seconds, seconds left one minute left <laughs> um and the moderator's a real yeah you know she's done this 
a million times and is very confident and, you know, has a special order she does them in. So a different person goes first every time, you know, it's a whole yep. system. Yep. Okay. And um, Channel 18 records it. Mm -hmm. And that's when the uncontested candidates would come into play. They usually, when we've done that, we've had them come in maybe like an hour before the forum debate is scheduled and they can just talk for, you know, three minutes or mm -hmm. something about their background, their experience, why they're running for mm -hmm. the uncontested race. And so the whole video package is unavailable for rewatching. Okay. So we'll do on, um, as I said, the nomination papers are due April 2nd. And I think um, there's one or two weeks um, to certify the signatures. Mm -hmm. But um, we could leave it that... Once we know who's turned in papers, I could reach out to League of Women Voters and get some dates that they might be available to have a forum. And then I can circulate um, those dates with both of you because I want to, you know, obviously I want to make find a date that works for us. Right. And for the town, um, was it in the Griffin room? Yes, that's where we've always started. Yeah, so I want, you know, we'll need to make sure that room's available. Right. Um, but I think I, if, if there's agreement, I can... Um, reach out to the clerk's office after papers have been turned in to find out what we're looking at in terms of contested right. elections, um, and then reach out to the league, let them know um, how many contests there are, right. and um, ask them for some dates. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. Okay. Sure. Excellent. And then um, I guess when we meet in April, assuming it's after our meeting in April, because the town election itself is May 21st, so we do have a little bit of time. Maybe we would shoot for the beginning of May um, for the contested candidates um, forum. Yeah, I think we've, I'd have to look back at the dates, but I think we've, you know, some years we've done it up until like a week before, mm -hmm. you know, relatively close mm -hmm. to the election. So okay. we do have a little bit of time yeah. to play with there. And we can figure out like roles for the day mm -hmm. yeah. of um, and promoting it. Mm -hmm. Yep, we um, usually we'll do a flyer and get that out, and the clerk is really good about sharing it out and that sort of you thing. You know how the town, you know, if there's a big storm or something, they'll do a big email mm -hmm. blast or text blast? Yep. Is that possible to yep, do that Yep, I think way? we did. That is a nice segue <laughs> to how to register for Civic Ready. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yes, they have done that in the past for us. They're very supportive of that, and we just submit it, and they um, send out a, you know, a notice that it's upcoming. Okay. Is it something that could be like a regular basis? I just was thinking in terms of whenever there's a town vote on either an issue or a person, be able to send out that blast. And you know how when we get the um, the little booklets, I think it's the ballot questions, and it says a yes, um, yes, a no yes vote means this, this, yeah. and a no vote means that. Um, so if that to be able to get that information out in that blast or give them a link where they can get that information. Um, I just thought it might reach more people um, if they have that instant. It comes to the Whereas right. if they don't get any notification, they're not going to know, oh, something's being voted upon. Yeah, I we can double check when you, if you contact the Emily, the town clerk, mm -hmm. about that. You can check with her on her plans for that because I know that I think or I don't know I think that that would come out of her department and I know she's very good about updating the town clerk's website mm -hmm. but I don't know how much she pushes out that sort of thing I yeah. think I think they do the general stuff like a reminder town election is you know mm -hmm. X date mm -hmm. or town meeting is this date um, but beyond that I'm not I can't remember what goes yeah. out but that would be a good thing to check with and if we can as a committee can support yeah I, I agree um, I was wondering um, my memory is you have to sign up for well two things you have to sign up for civic ready and I think um, you can indicate uh, what notices you wish to receive mm -hmm. okay um, for instance like I get I think notices of certain committee meetings mm -hmm. so I don't know um, if people haven't opted in for, okay, I, I don't know, even know what it would be like town clerk notices or, I mean, I guess, but that's something I can explore with Emily about right. 
um, or the clerk's office in general about how we, if, if the civic uh, ready and other town notifications can be used to promote, um, let voters know about these opportunities. I think it's a great yeah. idea. Um, Cause I mean, our, our, um, we're, our charge is to, you know, uh, help pr share voter information with on local elections. Right. So that would right. be a great way for us to do so. We will um, post all this information on our website, but how can we get people to know of it in other ways? Right. Um, and we did have good success uh, with a lot of our town partners sharing out the information on Civic Ready. You know, we had worked on that flyer. Yeah. And the library and the community center, um, the police and fire departments were all good about sharing it out. Was that the one that... The, we, yeah, that we did. I never fall. heard back from the police dis police department. Did Maybe you? they re-shared it. Uh, did you see it? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad. Because I know the fire department did. Yeah. But I never heard back from the police department. So. I think they, and I can't remember if they just, you know, shared like the fire department post or something yeah. like that. But Good. I, I did okay. see it oh, awesome. around. Great. So okay. um, hopefully awesome. Excuse me. <laughs> more people were aware of that and signed okay. up because it's a great tool yeah. yep. to be used. And um, I forgive me, I don't remember, but did we also post flyers on this? Civic ready, or we were talking about flyers. Yes. Yeah, I could probably do another round because that was a few months ago, and they well I, stay. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, very I, long. <laughs> I wonder if um, we sh uh, if we should be doing any kind of flyers on the special election uh and or the town election just making people i guess it's on our website or if it isn't we we should put it on our website right i will double check on that mm -hmm. um, um and i'm thinking i mean it's a tough time of year but it might be useful to invite emily mitchell to our next meeting just mm. to, you know, discuss a lot of this. I know she's come to meetings in the past occasionally. Yeah, that's great. Because idea. so much of it overlaps with what's coming out of her department. And I wouldn't want to duplicate efforts. Right. You know, I'd want to be able to support great and expand on what she's doing. So. No, that's a great idea. I can just um, adding to your list I, of yeah, things no, to talk I, to her I, about. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think it's helpful to just have one person contacting her because she is so busy. Um, right. So I'm happy to just have a list of things to talk to her about. Um, the other um, I don't know if I'm moving too quickly, but no, I think that fine. hits I think that hits our second um, point under discussion and um, using how to register for civic ready and other t town communications. Um, so I was just thinking that under other, um, the, our town meeting is May 6th, at least <laughs> to begin on May 6th. Um, and I know in the past, I think we've done some programming around the warrant or topics, specific topics on, on the warrant. Um, we were a bigger committee then. I don't know if we have the bandwidth to do any um, programming around that, but we could certainly um, link to the warrant when it's ready, you know, have the date on our voter information committee calendar. Um, and just, do, do you folks have any other suggestions or ideas? Um, in regards to the town meeting? Yeah, just I promoting know. it. Or any education, you know, we're supposed to be educating the voters. Um, so just any ways we could do that. So I don't have any thoughts on town meeting at the moment. I'd have to give some thought into that. Um, but I was also thinking along the lines, just in general, I wonder if there was, and maybe it's already been done in the past, but creating a, like a guide to either maybe you could even hand it out to the high school kids. Mm -hmm. So it sort of educates them and gets them ready. It educates people that are um, of any age, really. Yeah. Um, 
info on when town meeting happens, um, how they can get involved with town committees, mm -hmm. um, the whole process, sort of spell everything out so it, it gives them that first step. If they're interested, then this is how they can take it further. Yeah. I like that idea. I don't know. I feel like Joy, if you're you end up being our uh, <laughs> institutional memory because you were on it for a whole six months longer than I. I think, but um, I feel like I've seen something about town meeting. Yeah, and I'm actually just having a hard time connecting to the internet because I was trying to find and then. But maybe we have something. If there is something, maybe we could take a look at it. Right. To see if it's still if anything mm -hmm. needs to be updated. Yeah. Even, um, you know, how to get in touch with your town officials, mm -hmm. things like that. Like everything that's got to do with town, let's get that information out there. Well, I think we have to limit it to voter issues. Okay. So um, I think it would be appropriate for town meeting because it's, you okay. know, registered town voters attend that. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the idea in general of a like town directory or how to get in touch, but I just don't. Know if that's beyond our okay. Um, yeah, we have a pretty mission. narrow. Scope. Okay, I am not, but I do believe at some point we had created sort of a town meeting how to, at least in draft stage or something. Right, but I can't pull it out of the drive because I can't connect to the internet. Well, maybe <laughs> so um, we can maybe put that for a discussion at our next meeting and yeah. share it out. That sounds good. Um, the other thing I was going to say, and you reminded me, Amy, is when I went to town meeting last year, I feel like there were some tables set up in the lobby for other organizations or committees, like, and I'm wondering if that's a recruitment opportunity. That would be a great mm. idea. Um, I don't know the rules about being in the space for right. town meeting. Right, we can check on that. Um, Who do you speak to about that? I would think that would be Emily. Emily I think that would be, yeah. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> it's no, it's fine. no, it's fine. <laughs> Turn the page, keep adding to it. Um, I specifically, I remember like the Howard Conservation Trust, or I think that's the name. Yes. You know, the organization right. having a table. Um, I think their table related to some warrant issues so right. we wouldn't have any specific warrant issues but we could at least talk about mm -hmm. um and if we could do it for all committees just like a reminder that you know engaged citizenry is great and there are all these committees and here's how you you know have the form right the application to apply to be on yep. a committee good idea okay yeah all right, I'll add that to my list to see how we would go about getting a table and if we can talk about that, um, update on that at the next meeting. Yep. Um, the annual report to the town that you both reviewed months ago <laughs> <laughs> was submitted, so that part is taken care of. It's Great. sort of our one big administrative duty right. over the course of the year is um, writing up that report and submitting it to the town, so that's done. Um, yes, and I know sometimes we've been invited to give an oral report to the select board, but that didn't happen. I have happen. not heard anything. I don't know if they are off schedule or just not doing it anymore. Right. And now they're fully in sort of town meeting warrant prep, so. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so, well, I mean, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. That we don't have to attend, you know, in person to report. The re written report is sufficient, so. Um... And then we talked a little bit about recruiting new members for the Voter Information Committee. To the extent we talked about, it's important we could get some more people, we could do mm -hmm. some great programming. And um, when life gets in the way, we wouldn't have to cancel meetings. <laughs> um, so any word on the last two that the name Leo Kakunas was one, and then there was another gentleman, I believe, that you had gotten word that they were interested in maybe signing oh, I, up? I, I, haven't, I did not know anything about uh, that. Who's, somebody sent an email. Leo Kakunis and another gentleman had pulled papers for 
the that's what it was. Special election. Special the oh, one okay. year or not even one year, one like one month. month. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. unexpired term on the select board. Got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. But then but we haven't had anyone um, express an interest right. in joining the committee. Just um, a reminder that if someone is interested for the, our folks viewing, um, uh, if someone <laughs> is interested, we have the application on our website, and I believe it's also on the town clerk's website, but you fill out a paper application, or maybe you can do it online, um, and you submit it, and then um, you're interviewed by the select board, and then the select board recommends whether you should be appointed or not. Mm -hmm. So um, if you if people are interested in learning about the work we do, we'd be happy to speak with anyone. And our meetings are always public, yep. open to the public. Open to the public, so. Um, and I do like the idea of if we can get word out at town meeting, because you've got an audience yeah. of engaged yep. right. community members there, so hopefully. Okay, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. And I'm sure other committee, other committees are similarly um, looking for members. Right. So. so I'm just looking. So we're actually the third Wednesday, third not the Wednesday, fourth Wednesday. Wednesday. So if we go to April, that brings us to April 17th. No, that's school vacation week, I think. Does that matter for you, Joy? It does not. And Amy, I think your children are past school vacation yeah. age. That's why I didn't include you <laughs> in that question. But um, the only thing that might derail that is um, college visits. Yeah, of course. <laughs> if they end up, because some places we don't know yet, but um, can we? I mean, hopefully, we'll know within the next week or two. Yeah, absolutely. Well, why don't we um, say that it'll be the seventeenth, and if April we have 7th. to push it. Up or back a week, I'm fine either way. Well, I know, uh, Amy, you're in the middle of tax season, so um, oh, right. maybe after. And I don't know if even 17th will be okay for you, but hopefully, yeah, it'll be filed I'll, at that I'll point. Be, I'll be fine. I mean, <laughs> I it's um, it's a 60 hour week thing, but if I have to take an afternoon off, I'm okay. With it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so whatever. Okay. I hope my boss isn't. <laughs> um, don't think our viewership's too high <laughs> <laughs> all right um, uh, any new business or no I think we kind of covered any new ideas in some of the other agenda topics so I think we're in good shape I mean there are some things that we can work on in the interim yep. that I think we're all in consensus about so Great. I think that's good okay then and, uh, uh, well, if there's... I move to adjourn I second all right, we stand adjourned. Uh